very good morning children so as you know that we are continuing with our second chapter that is assets bases and saws and in my previous video i told you to once re revise uh, the, uh, the this chapter same chapter assets bases and saws which you have learned which you had learned in your lower classes have you done that children if not please do revise because it will be like a, a, a sort of revision for you so that you can understand the new concepts more easily so today's topic is today's concept is about assets and we shall know what all assets have in common what do all assets have in common it's nothing but hydrogen children yes it is the hydrogen atom or nothing but the hydrogen which is uh, common in all the acids here are few acids that i wrote what is it hydrochloric acid this is sulfuric acid nitric acid and this is acetic acid if you see all of these have hydrogen in common all of these have hydrogen in common now what is an acid i in my previous video i told you about the arrhenius theory and what did it state it stated that acid is a substance which generates or produces h plus ion so what does what happens when it is dissolved in some solution and dissolved in water what happens it dissociates it dissociates or nothing but it produces h plus ions in its solution so what happens here when it is dissolved in water it ionizes in the aqueous solution of water in aqueous solution it ionizes into positively charged h plus and what is left here nothing but the chloride ion a cation and an anion it dissociates into h plus and the remaining part of the acid as an anion now in the same manner h2so4 it dissociates into two protons or nothing but two h plus and what is left is a sulfate ion what is left is a sulfate ion hydrogen is removed or nothing but it is uh, uh, dissociated and sulfate ion is also dissociated nitric acid on the other hand uh, in the what do you call this also dissociates into h plus and nitrate ion this is a nitrate ion and acetic acid it also ionizes into h plus and what is the remaining here it is called as an acetate ion acetate ion so this is how all the acids have replaceable or i'm sorry uh, it it has like dissociable it can dissociate its hydrogen such that ion h plus is generated in its solution and this h plus is the is something which gives acidic properties to acids let us see how so as you can see that all these h plus you know they dissociate in solution as h plus ions and these h plus ions they react or nothing but they combine with water to form what is this compound called now this is nothing but called as the hydronium ion it is called as the hydronium ion we have we had learned this in our lower classes do you remember what gives acids their acidic property what gives an acid its acidic property it's nothing but the formation of hydronium ion and when is this hydronium ion formed when the water combines with the h plus which is you know generated when it is dissolved in water if a substance is not generating h plus can hydronium ion be formed no so in order to form this hydronium ion water should combine with h plus and this h plus we are getting from the dissociation of acid in its solution did you get this children so what is it hydronium formation of hydronium ion is very very critical very very important in order to show up the acidic properties of acids so you can see that all these h plus all these h plus you know they combine with water in a solution aqueous solution they combine with water and form h3o plus this gives all the physical and chemical properties of you know acid uh, acids in particular okay now in case in case if water is not available then the hydronium ion also will won't be formed then it cannot okay it cannot this h plus even if it is dissociating in some other uh, solution if it is dissociating then if water is not available if it is dry then it cannot exhibit or show up its acidic nature so this is what we are going to learn in our next uh, concept